going on everybody so it's been a while since I've uh, vlogged about the Virago build I haven't had much time but now I finally have my kid and we're getting back into a routine so I'm able to start working on it today um, I did however fix the electrical issues I was having before with the turn signals and stuff um, I didn't vlog that though I just got you know a couple hours to work on it a few weeks back and I just went at it and I finally figured it out so it was kind of a nightmare and there were multiple splices in the harness which made my life a living nightmare when trying to figure out what was going on with it but I did figure it out um, so I'm just gonna do some soldering today and get that going so I picked up this gas tank off a guy locally on Kijiji it's off of 1976 Norton I think the bike was called a Commando got the knee dents that I wanted um, it's not as aggressive, but it's better than what I have now, and it's got the flat bottom, it's in pretty good condition. Overall, there's no rust in the tank, um, so I think I can work with this, and I'm not sure about this fitting over the brace of the engine or the actual engine frame itself, so I might have to smash that in to get it to fit, but overall the look will be a lot better than uh, what I wanted, what I have now, and this is kind of like the end goal what I originally wanted. So. Probably the first time in over a decade that I've, uh, I'm going to solder something. I still have part of the old handlebar switch with the turn signals hooked up. Uh, I was trying to match the wires of this cheap eBay one since it didn't come with the wiring diagram. I wasn't sure what was what. Um, so I managed to figure it out doing some Googling and YouTube and I tried to match it up as best I can just following the wires in but it was very difficult. Um, so I'm not going to hook up the turn signal wires just yet only because I want to permanently figure this out but it does work so I got them to work correctly and blink on the right side so I'm gonna hook up the headlight though only because I know that those are correct so I'm gonna take the tape off and I'll hook that up and make that work but I'll show you that they do work so headlights on and you can see I think here the lights on the just sitting on the wheel right now but as you can see, I got high beam, low beams. And then if I flick the switch here. So I have this temporarily hooked up right now. This is probably what I'll use as a temporary measure to get the bike safety. And you can see the back one here is also flickering. So that's good. Taking the tape off. There's various ways to solder, but from my memory of shop class or whatever, I'm just going to wrap these like this. It should be decent. Grab my soldering iron. So I'm going to heat up the wire. Let's see if this works here. From what I remember, you have to put it under and then you have to heat up the copper. Melt this on there. It's not working is. Alright, so it seems to be working. Let's check that out. It looks half decent. Do the other two headlight wires right now. Okay, so ideally when you're doing this, you want to use some shrink wrap or shrink tube. Um, I forgot to do it on this first one, so I'll just tape that one back up, but I'll use it for this next joint here. I'll just slide it up here. I'll do the same kind of knot thing where you basically just wrap them together so let's just heat that up totally melting some rubber there on that alligator clip All the rubber today. I 
Clearly not that great at soldering. Todd. So I'm gonna get behind here. So it got too hot and I think I actually just shrunk the shrink tube as you can kind of see here. So the shrink tube, I guess it got too hot and it started shrinking right here. So I'll see if I can loosen that later, but I don't think so. So I think that's a lost cause. I'm going to have to take this one too. Um, I let it go a little too hot and I melted a lot of plastic including this alligator clip. Whoops. So I'm gonna mount probably the turn signal temporarily right up here for now. It's gonna look really tacky, but it's so I can pass the safety. And then uh, I have to get a turn signal relay for LEDs so that I can make the integrated ones in the headlight work. Um, and then I'll get this thing safety and transfer it into my name for road worthiness. And then I'll do all the crazy shit to it that I wanna do that might not necessarily pass a safety inspection. Not to say the bike will be unsafe, but there might be some things on here that could be questionable that the mechanic doing the evaluation might not like. All right, so that's all for today. Thanks for watching, guys.